If we care about universal principles such as freedom, democracy and the rule of law, we cannot leave them to the care of market forces, we must establish some other institutions to safeguard them. I admire Chancellor Merkel for her leadership qualities, but she is leading Europe in the wrong direction. I very often used to get backaches due to the fact that I was wrong. Whenever you are wrong you have to fight or, take, flight. When, I, make the decision, the backache goes away. When you sell options, you get paid for assuming risk. That can be a profitable business, but it does not mix well with the risks inherent in a leveraged portfolio. We are the most powerful nation on earth. No external power, no terrorist organization can defeat us. But we can defeat ourselves by getting caught in a quagmire. To my mind, there is a solution which has to do with democracy, because democratic governments are subject to the will of the people. So, if the people will it, you can actually create international institutions through the democratic states. The people currently in charge have forgotten the first principle of an open society, namely that we may be wrong and that there has to be free discussion. That it's possible to be opposed to the policies without being unpatriotic. Markets are designed to allow individuals to look after their private needs and to pursue profit. It's really a great invention, and I wouldn't underestimate the value of that but they're not designed to take care of social needs. Democracy, by its very nature, can't be imposed on people. Democracy has to be the people deciding for themselves. A global economy is characterized not only by the free movement of goods and services but, more important, by the free movement of ideas and of capital. Financial markets are supposed to swing like a pendulum, they may fluctuate wildly in response to exogenous shocks, but eventually they are supposed to come to rest at an equilibrium point and that point is supposed to be the same irrespective of. The laissez-faire argument relies on the same tacit appeal to perfection as does communism. Changeless society is characterized by the absence of alternatives. Advocating democracy has, by other people, often been taken as a form of imperialism, and not without some justification. So the important thing in a democracy is that it doesn't necessarily have to agree with what America's interests are, and it do. When I had made more money than I needed for myself and my family, I set up a foundation to promote the values and principles of a free and open society. Playing by the rules, one does the best he can, irrespective of the social consequences. Whereas in making the rules, people ought to be concerned with the social consequences and not with their personal interests. Giving government aid to a bank basically transforms it into a utility. The huge salaries in this sector are only a symptom of a more profound misalignment. The profitability of the finance industry has been excessive. That was absurd. Markets are imperfect. So you do need regulation, knowing that the regulators are also human. The securitization of mortgages added a new dimension of systemic risk. Financial engineers claimed they were reducing risks through geographic diversification, in fact they were increasing them by creating an agency problem. The quotes famous. Thank you for watching.